What's up guys? We got a new freaking ship. That's basically the TLDR of last episode because it was awesome. I went back to complete the Freestar Collective quest line and it did not disappoint. We uncovered a massive mystery, but <laughs> I I saw the mystery coming. There was no mystery. The person who was behind all of it was exactly the person that I suspected in the first place. If you guys played that quest line for yourself, I gotta know, did you see it coming? Cause I definitely saw it coming. Anyway, I'm excited to jump back in and give you guys the grand tour of my brand new ship. Thank you guys as always for clicking on today's video. I appreciate you guys more than you know. So without further ado, let's jump back in. Behold the Star Eagle. Just a quick run through of the stats. It's got way better weapon stats, like in general, except for the missile, but that's fine. It has a little bit less for the engines, more shields and the same grav, but all in all, look at that cargo capacity. This is the moment I have been waiting for. This is it. I have been waiting to finally stumble across a way better ship than I've had. I'm actually gonna go back to the landing pad in Aquila so that I can go give you the grand tour and make it my home ship and maybe even modify and upgrade it. Also today is a great day too because I just put a fresh pack of batteries in this controller so it ain't dying on me today. Okay so this is still the razor leaf so I'm gonna have to that's hi sam you're not the dude i'm looking for i need to go find a technician to switch my home ship hello sir are you the Where's droid i'm looking for Aquila C is always up. you're not the droid i'm looking for are you the ship technician no you're a citizen you are also a citizen are you a, no wrong technician are you the droid i'm We're looking asking for everyone to take care of any leeches on their ship yes you are you don't want me. hey what can i do for you I would like to view and modify my ships. Star Eagle, baby. Make home ship, done. So yeah, there's actually not a lot of upgrading that I can do for this ship, but I don't care. I wanna go see the ship. It looks huge. Hopefully there's a lot more space. I hope they added like a workshop space in this ship. Cause that's something that I've always missed on all of my other ships that I've had so far. <laughs> There's an up. There's an up. Oh, oh my gosh. But the best part about this too is that I finally can add more crew members. Oh my right. sweet baby jays. Oh, we got chunks. So it's business down here. Party up top, I bet you. Uh-huh. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> Get off the ladder. Ooh, more chunks. Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. I have way more rooms than I've ever had. Ever. In any of my ships. So wait. Cool. We got we got weapon storage right here. That's good to see. We love it. This looks like a ship that I have explored before that I saved somebody on. My own private bathrooms. We can take a number two. I gotta wonder, when you take a number two on a ship, it's probably the easiest thing to dispose of. You just eject it out of a hole into space. We got a jail cell, I think. I'm assuming that's what this is. I don't know. <laughs> the adoring fan. We know who's going in here. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. No, maybe that's just where everyone sleeps. There's just our guaranteed privacy with this really not friendly looking glass door. And here's my office desk space with complimentary ammo. But wait, there's more. Oh my, oh my God, oh my God. We have a freaking kitchen. There's so much more to this ship already. I love it. Is there anything that I can use in here? Like, can I, can I use this as a cooking station at all? It doesn't look like I can. Ooh, we can store like first aid in here too. What is this room called specifically? Would this be called like the infirmary? Cause I did notice that there were certain bays that you could put 
in the ship builder because I have studied it. I did try my hand at it and, and like I figured, I was awful at it. So I just like these pre-built ships that I can steal and or win. <laughs> anyway, so that's the back of this ship and let's go see the front. Oh, we got a weapon rack here. I love how everything is kind of close together and it's going to be easy to find everything too. All right, I want to see the front of the ship. Hopefully there's a, like a workbench, something that I can use. Med pack, thank you. All right, here we go. The main attraction. We got the cockpit, look. Way cooler, way more decked out than my other one. I, I love this. Maybe I can still experiment with the shipbuilder and add more bays, like a workshop and stuff to this. So maybe I should still try to play around with it a little bit more and expand on ships that I already have, but that'll be a project for another day. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the grand tour of my brand new ship. Now let's pick what we should do next. I'm definitely leaning towards doing another main mission, but there's this faction mission that I keep seeing on Twitter, like just literally just the name of it, but I've also heard that it is so good. I do not know how to pronounce this, but it has something to do with the Ryujin faction. I think it's set in neon. So as much as I want to do this because I've heard it's really good, I do think I'm going to start with a main mission for today. And then maybe towards the end, we can start to dabble with this faction mission. We got into the unknown. Vladimir picked up some data on the artifacts I just brought back. I should talk to him. Back to Vectera. Argos Extractors is packing up operations on Vectera, but there's no word about Barrett. I need to go there and find out what happened. Or there's the empty nest. The robbery at Gall Bank has been dealt with. Sam and I should be able to get Solomon's maps now. And I think I want to do this solely because I want to hang out with Sam. And it's perfect because we are still on Aquila and Sam is right here. All right, we're here. You ready? I've been ready. Because once we get started, I'm going to be riding your tail till this is over. Okay. <laughs> Slow your roll. Buy me dinner first. Sam will be locked as your follower if you continue. Yes, please. Understood. Let's get going. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co. First okay. man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before. The one I think is connected to an artifact. It's something of a family legend. Mm. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. <laughs> he called it the empty nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Okay, well, I want to go. Solomon Co is your ancestor? Your family built Aquila City? Yeah, and the Coes have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Hold on a second, I just need to bask in your celebrity status. I am so saying this. Ah, <sighs> okay, okay. Smartass. This is why I don't like bringing it up. <laughs> Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Oh, cool. Okay. Sweet. I hope you like my smartassery. <laughs> Feels like I spent half my life trying to get out of this place. That's kind of sad. Also, where the heck is Andresia? Because... She was supposed to be my companion, and I just realized that the entirety of last episode, I did not see her once. Did she just ditch me? Here we are. All right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's okay. a copy of the key. <gasps> Thank you. Ooh, okay, Christ. now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. Big bundles of paper is what we're after. No one will care if I take those, right? He doesn't seem to care. All right, well, let's start with this first one. Note for Sam, desktop mask decoration. Nose grub display, what? Hold on, I just gotta go in here and see what this stuff is. Oh, they're like decorations. Maybe I can put this on my new ship. Sam, look what I got. Oh no, 
Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. I love the responses to Sam. They're so funny. This one says, I'm walking into drama. This is the part where I walk into drama. <laughs> Okay, do I want to keep up the smart-ass attitude with him? I feel like he can take it. You're gonna be like this the whole way? Damn it. I was hoping to avoid the estate. Cora's gonna be so mad. <laughs> Does he not like my smart-assery? Ooh, I have to persuade him any chance I get. Sam, level with me here. Tell me who Jacob is. We really gotta do this. Yes, and you will give in, you beautiful Beautiful man, you. I'll bet Cora would tell me. Why don't I just go over and ask? That's a low blow there. Ooh. No need to involve the little one. Okay. All right, fine. That was easy. Holy. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? Hmm. I get you. Thanks for opening up to me, Sam. Yeah, well, sorry I'm such a pain about it. No forgiveness between me and my old man. It's, uh, co-tradition. All right, shall we? I feel like he's a big softy. Whether you like it or not, Sam, you're gonna love me, and I will make sure of it. Oh, whatever it is that we're looking for is all the way the heck up here. I have actually never been back here in this city yet. Why, you ask? I have not a clue. I actually didn't even know that the city extended behind the, the ranger headquarters, which is essentially what that building is. Wow, okay. You learn something new every day. Ooh, the co-estate. Hold on, do you guys mind if I look around a little bit? Just, like, kind of help myself? This is a nice little house that you guys got Wait, in here. Once. Let's hear Ooh, it. They're fighting. This is awkward. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay. This was a mistake. I feel like I'm trespassing on family matters. The only here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? Excuse me? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. Well, I am. Hate to break it to you. Just why do you two hate each other so much? There's only one place a co ought to be. And it ain't out there in the star field doing Lord knows what. Putting our future at risk. This isn't about you or your ancestry. This is bigger than that. Nothing's more important than family. Nothing. Sam liked that. If Sam had stuck around, he'd know that. Ooh. You wouldn't be here. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. Welcome home, Sam. <laughs> Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. I'm up for a little adventure. Ooh, that hurts. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. He probably sounds like a lot of people right before going in for Thanksgiving family dinner. <sighs> Ooh, deep breaths. He mentioned his granddaughter. Maybe Cora could help. No, no, no. I mean, this is no place for her, okay? The less time she spends with Jacob, the better. What's wrong? You didn't mind her coming along until this came up. I just... I made a decision a long time ago about how my little girl gets raised. And it doesn't include Jacob Coe, okay? Leave it at that. We need those maps, Sam. She can help. Damn it. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, you just dislike we'll, that. We'll go get her. I just, if there's any other options, I'd appreciate doing those first. Okay. Well, maybe we can just do it without involving Cora. Let's just talk to him. Sam's constellation lackey here to bother me again? Call me that again. Let's just try to persuade him. You know that thing that I'm awful at? Be reasonable. We need those maps, Jacob. Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. Constellation just wants to follow up on Solomon's work. Oh! You really believe that, don't you? Okay. Well, apparently you did too, because it was successful. The sooner you agree, the sooner we're out of your house. <laughs> yes! Maybe you're right. Yeah, that got I him. I believe I'm saying this. But if I'll get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. 
They're in the other room, here. Key. I was about to say, do it for your son, but I don't even think that would have worked. Ooh, this guy's cold. Let's go. Sam's gonna love that. Well, there it is. Easy peasy. Sam, great news. All right, let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Uh, what is a problem? <laughs> this is such a me statement. Don't say things like that. My anxiety is bad enough as is. But I'm gonna say, whatever it is, we can handle it. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the empty nest is a cave right in the middle of Shagang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Oh, okay. Bringing outlaws to justice sounds like fine work. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Oh. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. Hey, I didn't say that, you did. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, I really have not done a ton of exploring of this area. Yeah, we could just walk off and go this way. All right, let's do it. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. See, see, points of interest. 1100 meters away. Oh, and look at that. Another 1000. Muscles would be huge. Muscles would be huge. Why? I ain't lifting nothing. But yeah, these points of interest both are at least a thousand meters. And I love this game, but man, do I end up wishing a lot of the time that there were vehicles. Because for me, once I explored enough points of interest, it got to a point where I was like, I ain't got time for that. Uh-uh. Who? -uh. where? I want, I want a bad guy. Oh, that's more like a bad dog, but. Oh my god, these things have some armor. Oh no, get away from me. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. He's a workout. Oh yeah. I'm working out all right. I find a lot of comfort and relaxation in just walking though, and just scanning things as I go, occasionally shooting stuff and getting into trouble like my good friend Sam here. But I don't really do any exploring with any real objective anymore, just because all the POIs are just all over the place. I just kind of wait to stumble along stuff as I go and do quests like this. Ooh, we're getting close. Ah, oh no. Of course they're guarded by something. Ooh, I need to heal. Ooh, I need to heal big time, trauma pack. Yes. Sam! Where are you, Sam? Help me! Buddy! Don't go dying on me! Where'd you go? You can use that for crap. Whoa! Jeez, you scared the bejesus out of me. Alright. You're not helping me. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I'm about to have an Austin Powers moment. Look at that giant Johnson! Willie! Yeah? What's that? Well, it looks like a giant Johnson. <laughs> I love those movies so much. Anyway, Sam, thank you for giving me a mini heart attack. Let's go. Okay, let's go before we die. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Get the artifact. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I don't like you. Oh man. Oh, Sam. We need something with better range right now. Let's go with my soul stick. I love this little gun. All right, we need to take out these turrets first, I think. I should not be sitting still. That is rule number one of like, don't get shot. Don't stand still. Okay, we need something heavier. Heavy duty. Woo! Thank you. 
We need to get these turrets. These turrets are so annoying. Thank you. Ooh, heal. Oh. Boom. <laughs> I love this gun. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Oh, wait. Oh, that was you. Oh, yeah, you're you're going somewhere. You're not going to like where you're going. You know, the true travesty in this game is that there is never enough digitics. Ever. Like, there is no amount that is enough. Come here, buddy. Ah! <laughs> Boom! What? Uh, nice outfit, though. Ooh, nice gun. Oh, hello. Hey, get off the table. Get off the table. That is disgusting and rude. Punishable by death. This unit has served us very well, yet the time has come for us to admit that without a few new parts, our repairs are not going to last. If we want this to work more than a few days at a time, I'm going to need a new deformable nozzle, at least a functional reactive gauge, and some isotopic coolant to refresh the system. It's not much to ask for all of us and for this loyal unit. Please find these parts. I don't know who they're talking to, but I think the people that they're referring to is now deceased. Got these last two people over here. Ooh. Yes. And then, can't forget about you. Join your friends. Oh, we're savage. Ah! Oh, you dirty dog, you. Ooh, ooh. He got that revenge. From the grave little nostalgic halo announcer voice for you. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Where are you, Sam? Sammy. Can I call you Sammy? I don't know where he went. Maybe he's inside already. There you are, Sam. I missed you. <laughs> yeah, I'm picking you guys off. <laughs> Shog and cave key. Sure. Where did this guy go? Where are you? Did he run away? Oh, 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 hello. <laughs> oh, that's what the cave key's for. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, buddy. Watch it. Watch it. That's a gun, not a toy. I see a fork in the road. I have to go explore. Jeez. Oh my god. I just, yep, peed myself. <laughs> nice. Grizzly, but part of the job. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> And that, everyone, is why you don't sneak up on me. <laughs> oh, I just turned the corner. I just <laughs> elbow him to the face. Oh man, that was funny. I do not think Sam and I's relationship is off to a great start. Between, you know, being a smartass and... Uh, <laughs> Accidentally elbowing him in the face. <laughs> Ooh, this is different. This is very. I am not used to this. Alright, so we mine this, right? Alright, let's see if I can take it now. Okay, I think I passed out. Yeah, you're fine. Let's get going. Yeah, I'm okay. Do you want to talk? Do you want to talk about it? Because I kind of want to talk about it. I won't lie. My heart stopped for a beat when you passed out. I'm he glad cares. You're still he cares. He cares. You're telling me there's a chance. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Ask away. Oh, yes. Ask away. Yes. Oh my god, I think, I think, I think I'm falling in love. What do you think of exploration? There's so many planets, moons, celestial phenomena out there. Yep. Most captains just sail through the great black, not even really looking, appreciating. A lot of the time touching down on a virgin planet can be, well, uneventful. True. But every now and then, you see something no human has ever laid eyes on. That is what I live for. You know, and that is the beauty of this game, too. Like, even though there's a lot of points of interest that are quite literally the same from planet to planet, 
in between all of that, there are some really miraculous things you can stumble across. How does Cora's schooling work? Cora has the complete top of its class learning videos and lessons. Huh. And I have to occasionally do some of the old homeschooling. Fortunately, mm. mainly it's the videos. Around when she was seven, she could already see the cracks in my knowledge. Oh. Come to think of it, I think she's doing an introductory college course in astrophysics. Not being graded, like, for fun. She's so weird. She's taking a college-level astrophysics class for fun? Is this child even human? Have you seen a lot of action? About to go wow wow. I've seen my fair share of scrapes. Actually, <laughs> a triple share with a massive bonus worth. <laughs> some folks say I'm the luckiest man alive after making it through some real whoppers. But the trick is to always keep a cool head. Impulsiveness, fear, adrenaline, all those will get you jumpy. You get too jumpy, your target could be five in front of you and you'll miss every time. After all this is over, what's next for you? There's no next. I want to be exploring until they pry the boots off my cold dead feet. I mean, Love Cora it. will go to university, and the price tag there is scarier than any jam we've been in. But for me, <laughs> my truest love is the next star, the next horizon. All right. So long. Yes, so long. Farewell. I think we should, yep, definitely try to get out of this cave and go on with our mission. But yeah, like, how the heck do we get out of here? Thank goodness for the scanner. Uh, I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. <laughs> you must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Hmm. Well, lucky for you, we also freed up a significant amount of money on your payroll. You're welcome. Let's see if we can persuade her, because I will always persuade when I have the chance. We can work this out. No need for violence. Oh, really? Let's hear it. This is a joke, right? You're going to fight me. Yeah, not fallen for that one. All right, well, if I got to attack you, I will. We got past all of your crew before. You fight us, you'll lose. Yup. Knew Tough it. Tough talk. But you've backed it up so far, I'll admit. Okay, so we gotta play on that. It's about to get really ugly for you. Hey, it doesn't have to go that way. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. And Sam Cole like that. I see that. you again. You're dead. Bet. It's the Ashta. You. This is your fault. You better lend us a hand. What? Oh, now we gotta help them fend off the Ashta? Oh my gosh. Okay, I mean, I'll stay and help. Maybe, maybe we can turn everything around here. You're welcome. I'm saving your life. Mercy, okay? Maybe I'll gain more brownie points for Sam. Is this thing inside? Get out of here. Are you gonna thank us now? Yeah, I guess I owe you something so for dealing with the Ashta. Yes, you do. Take it and get lost. Ooh, Assassin's Razorback. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what that is. It's a gun that uses 7.5 millimeters. I haven't had a gun like this since I got Deadeye, and I think I put that in my storage. Ooh, I also like that it's called the Artifact Chi, which I'm pretty sure I can look this up. 
but I'm pretty sure that's another word referring to universal energy. It's talked about a lot in Eastern medicine. It's super interesting. Like this kind of stuff fascinates me a lot. So I just Googled it and there's actually a couple different meanings for it. In the dictionary, the definition can also mean the 22nd star in a constellation. That's really interesting, which constellation, like the faction we're working for, that's kind of cool. But it also says here that with its roots in traditional Chinese culture, qi refers to the vital life force or energy that runs through all living things. And I'm sure it might mean something a little bit different in different cultures and all that, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. I can't believe I just helped the Shaw gang, but you know, what can I say? Sometimes I'm just too nice, but I think we're officially done here for now. Let's go, Sam. We're in one piece. I'll call that a win. Let's get back to the lodge. Bro, bro. Bethesda, I have I have one one request. Can we have a back the f option with our companions, please? I mean, I'm all about the whole nut to butt thing when we're in the middle of combat, like get close, you know, got have my back and all that, but sheesh! I mean, they are I literally they up my butt crack every time. <laughs> we're back at the lodge. There's Sam, there's Cora. Hey, we're back. The newest member of our little family really pulled through for us. Is anyone hurt? You didn't let Cora handle the artifact, did you? We don't know what effects it might have on someone her age. Relax. We're fine. Go ahead. Time for that artifact to meet its siblings. Where's Andresia, though? We got Walt. We got Sarah. We got Mateo, who again, I still have not traveled with yet. We got Noelle. We got Sam, Cora. Where's Andresia? No, I thought that was Andre. Oh my goodness. Where'd she go? Anyway. Just, what are we building here? I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As huh. far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. That's the or spirit. Maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. <laughs> Why would either of those things give the discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. I hear that. Moving forward sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, please. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. Ah. Uh, coming with? That means Cora's on your ship. Actually, maybe she can teach me a thing or two about astrophysics. So, actually, I wouldn't mind if we kept traveling together. Hmm. Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company. New stories, new data. What? Data? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Let's go. Yeah. Seriously though, where the heck is Andresia? Hello there. Hi. How are you, kiddo? Lately, I find myself spending more and more time here. Business has appealed to me, but this is exciting. Okay. Well, now that I've thought about it a little bit more, I just wanted to hear what Walter had to say. But you know what? I know I just said Sam can come with, but I kind of want to ask- you never expected ask... to end up involved in something like this. You're right. But I kind of want to ask Mateo to come along. Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Wait a second. It's not even an option. That just made my job so much easier, but also makes me super sad that you can't come along with us. Take care of yourself. No, you, you, finish the heart. Finish the, fi oh, oh, okay. He didn't finish the heart. So can you guys finish the heart for me? All right, well now I know. So Sam, it's you and me and Cora. Sarah, it has been a pleasure and no, I have not always loved you judging me 
every five seconds. But just know that our time together has been appreciated, but I do think it is time to go our separate ways. And yes, yes, I hey. am breaking up with you. Yikes! Here I am just trying to let him down gently. Hope it worked. Sam! Come on, Sam! Let's go! Use them legs! <laughs> why, why am I finding this so funny? Run! Run! <laughs> Right, what do we do next, guys? I don't know. Do we do, ooh, faction quest line? Back to the grind. While roaming the city, I heard a job advertisement for Ryujin Industries. I should find a Ryujin kiosk nearby if I'd like to apply for the job. I'm honestly tempted to try it, so let's do it. And if I remember correctly, I believe there's a kiosk nearby in New Atlantis. Ooh, ooh, guys, I also just unlocked the ability to combat slide. This is gonna be fun. Also, I found the kiosk. The nearest kiosk. I'm here, let's do it. Job application. Welcome to the Reusion Industries job application. All questions must be answered in order for your application to be submitted. I have to take a quiz. Work experience. How many years of experience do you have working in secretarial position or corporate environment? Um, okay. Maybe a year. How familiar are you with Reugen Industries and its product lines? Mm, not at all. I don't know if I should have been honest about that. What is your proficiency with computers in regards to typing and file management? Medium. What level of education have you completed? Bachelors. Do you have a history of criminal activity? Not that I'm aware of. Your application is now complete. To officially submit your application, please select submit application below. Answers may no longer be changed beyond this point. Submit. Yay! Travel to Neon to Voli Alpha in the Voli system. All right, let's go! Wow, it has been a minute since we've been to Neon. I forgot how much I like this place. I do think this is my favorite city so far. It's just so bright and colorful. It's actually kind of cozy. It's very reminiscent of like Cyberpunk, and I did really enjoy that game. So I think it's it's doing a little bit of nostalgia as well. Ooh, to Reugen Industries, fancy. can I help you? Oh yes. You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room. Follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. You are going to need to repeat yourself at least 10 more times. I can find the office myself. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure <laughs> I'll see you on your way out. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that was a nice good luck. It was more like a good luck have fun. <laughs> You can just feel all that corporate bullshit oozing from this place. Yup. Ugh. Ugh. I agree. Can't start soon enough. You can smell the corpo. Also, I want to put some doodads and stuff in my face too. Hello. I'm more prepared than the last one. Have a seat. <laughs> and your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. No, Sam. Remember, firm handshake. My dad always insisted that was the key. To All right. Oh. Just to get a few things straight here. <laughs> I'm so Imogen rude. Salzo, senior operations specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment. So, here I am. And here We're looking I am. for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm felt you were a decent match. So, let's get this started. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? Actually, I'm not quite sure if I'm in the market for a new job right now. I hear you only hire the best and the brightest, so here I am. I'll be sure to let our marketing team know their phrases are catching on. <laughs> but I hope that's your sense of humor showing. It is. Not to say we don't have our share of self-important attitudes here. Oh, I'm sure in you fact, do. you'd fit right in where some are concerned. But, moving on. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Because... <laughs> what kind of question is that? Because I can persuade you like the best of them. 
I can make any deal happen. I can't help but wonder if that's why you're here today and not behind bars, considering your track record. And yes, of course we know you have one. Yuko's algorithm at least hasn't failed us there. Your past is not a concern, for now. Just know that we have ways of keeping an eye on you around here. How motivated are you to succeed? She's onto us, guys. She knows about my criminal history. I'll go above and beyond to get this job done. All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? Oh, the boss. In five years, I'll be running this company. Full disclosure? It's all about making deals with the right people around here. She's helping me out. You put those skills of yours to good use and choose the right sides. You probably won't be running the place, but you'll be right next to the one who does. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a oh. probationary period? Of course. Of course. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. Imogene, I like that name. But I really want one of those cool outfits. Hopefully I can get myself one of those. I can't believe they have me getting coffee for these people. Excuse me, excuse me, I have very important business. Oh, terrible, look at this place, so cute. Oh my gosh. This, this place probably has the best coffee. Thanks for- Hello, and welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? I just cut everyone in line, too. I'm here to pick up an order for Imogene Salzo. Oh, the Ryujin order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired, is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. <laughs> Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk, getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? That is the most emotion I think I've, I've seen from any of these people. He is pissed. I'm sorry you got fired. Yeah, I bet you are. No one's ever sorry in this business. I now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Oh, Believe me, me, it's either you or me. You what? are seriously attached to this shitty job. Jeez, take a breath, pal. No one's terminating anyone. Sam is so calm in this. Wait, what does he mean by they'll send you after me? Do they always kill? Their previous employees? Hold on, let's talk about this. You wanna talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Oh my Change goodness. my mind and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. Oh, I think I do. You're throwing your life away here. You can't be that good. Not yet. You don't even know me. I'm not your enemy, bud. No, no, I, I have to do this. You don't understand. No, you don't. Look, at some point, Ularu really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this. Yeah. Uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. And you spared me, and I will forever be thankful. But why would they send me after you? Why would I be the one they send? I'm so glad I can ask this. <laughs> Let's just say... Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now she's gonna see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again, okay? And when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. Oh, I will for sure, but were you doing something else besides just getting them coffee? Like, what do you know? Of course. You're either one of the few good people in Neon, or you already know a thing or two about leverage. A little just bit of both. don't make me regret this. <laughs> well, that just got really interesting. No worries on anyone calling security here. Thank you. Take it from me, 
Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. I don't really know if I want them knowing about this because of what he just said. I still need to pick up that order though. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself and a mistake like that will never happen again. Okay. Right. That was weird. All right, this place is getting sketchier and sketchier by the minute. Keep I got my it. eyes on all of you. Yours. Oh, back at ya. I have your coffee. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You Something's either need to hot. learn the city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Um, hmm, funny you should ask. I was, uh, held at gunpoint because of you guys. Ooh, do I want to be honest? Maybe she'll tell me more, but I have a feeling that if I actually bring it up, they will try to cover it up, sweep it under the rug, or potentially try to kill me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, we're gonna lie. It's personal. It won't happen again. Personal? Huh. I suppose that's one way to put it. I know that Tomo Higashi, an ex-employee of ours, accosted you at the Terra Brew, and- Shoot. Before you get any ideas, no. The barista didn't sell you out. I'm being followed. Ryujin has enough connections in Neon that an incident like this would never slip by. I should have known- Deception aside, some of us are impressed by how you handled the situation and would like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? New yeah, record. I get the feeling she would have been even happier if you did off Tomo. Typical Ryujin snake. Okay, so he does not like them. I gotta play into that if I want to get on his good side. So, no more coffee errands? No more coffee errands, but depending on how you look at it, the word errands technically still applies. Mm, okay. Well, thank you. You say that now, but let's move on to the details. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Right. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? None at all. I'm good. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. Woo! The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. <laughs> Say hello to my seventh cup of coffee for the day. Just kidding. It's more like three, four, three and a half. Okay, who should I talk I hope I can to wrap up first? This nice quick. The razor ball. Ooh, official boardroom. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do I need to take a seat, or do I need to talk to them individually? Camden? So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. I know, I work fast. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. The barista said she triple-checked the grind herself. Ah, so she remembered. Not that I expect much out of Terra Brew Coffee, but hey, I suspected their grinder was on its last leg. Oh. Anyway, welcome to the team. Thanks. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. How does Ryujin benefit millions of others? Well, NeuroAMPs for one. They aid in mental illness, confidence boosting, and focus. Oh. Drone robots for maintenance and security, tranquility for relaxation, tranquility. Arboron for protection. Your work only helps us improve and expand upon these products that so many people love and benefit from. Okay, interesting. I wonder if this is a quest line that I can do in order to have those things installed in myself. What's the bright side to corporate espionage? I get your point, but if anything, take comfort in knowing that you're the one deciding the methods behind your assignments. Okay. Not only that, but corporate espionage is the norm. Ryujin just handles it better than most. Competitor operatives have done far worse to accomplish less. Cool, so it's nice to know that I have freedom to do, or to carry out whatever I need to do the way that I want to. 
thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. True. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. Mmm. You're very welcome. That is a little bit of wisdom in there. That is so true. You see the world through the lens of how you're currently feeling, or like whatever your outlook on life is. Whenever you're in a more negative mindset, expect that you will see more negative things happen. Linden. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. I like tranquility because I love puns and I love play on words, so that would also be my go-to. Maybe Ryujin should acquire Terra Brew. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the tranquility brand. <laughs> Current projections are set to surpass Terabrew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Caldary, Chief Financial Officer. Ah. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which hopefully won't be often. Okay, no pressure then. <laughs> well, there goes my paycheck. The expenses aren't as extreme as you may think. Oh. We limit them. The intent is to discourage, not dishearten. This introduction was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Okay, this person is very logical, very straight to the point, and clearly does not quite pick up on jokes, I guess. Okay. Hello? I don't know what your name is, but oh, let me, let me get to this side. Genevieve? I love that name. <sighs> Just what I needed. Emma Jane said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve. Head of Marketing and Public Relations. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? A lot. I am a lot to handle. What do you mean by how much work am I going to be? Clean up, of course. Journalists are pretty quick at putting two and two together and I get the pleasure of making sure those connections are never made. Oh. Or, if they are, handling the fallout. <gasps> like another Bethesda game name drop. Love to see it. None, you do not have to worry about me. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> that's what they all say. <laughs> Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Yeah, sorry in advance, guys. I apologize because I'm gonna I'm about to cause some chaos because that's kind of my favorite thing. Okay, Alexis Price. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. I mean, you need to look at me. There we, there we go. I hope you like what you see. That depends on your actions going forward. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. <laughs> we may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. I am a part of the Free Star Rangers, so you already got a connection. Also interesting that they don't know maybe they're not filled in on this part of the galaxy yet also toby just wanted to sneak in here real quick and say hi hi toby i will do my best let's hope your best is good enough good enough for you it's good enough for me it's good enough it's good enough for me yeah 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 i'm sorry i saw the opportunity and i took it i have recently watched the goonies for the first time and that has become my all-time favorite song i listen to it every freaking day it is also my alarm clock sound in the morning i kid you not all right done and done i hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet i thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job the basic theme was don't get caught. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. 
We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp were trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Big mistake on their part. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Great. Consider it done. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Dang. I hope Sam doesn't hate me for helping them. There's always work to be done. Face yourself. Make it fast. Sam just backing on out of there. Backing up. Beep. 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 But yeah, I hope he doesn't hate me for working with them. I just... If Alexis asks I that. see a quest. I accept quest. I do quest. It's as simple as that. Astro Lounge. Astro Lounge. I mean, confession time. I used to blow off some steam there. Ooh. Bad idea. Bad idea? Okay, now I need to know what this place is all about. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's a dance club, isn't it? Let's go. I gotta see this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sam, you dirty dog, you. You hanging out in here? This place is so cool. Love the color scheme. This has got to be my favorite color scheme. Very galactic. This place is insane. This place is insane. I love their galactic thongs. This person over here, whoever they are, they need to be cut off. They've had a little too much to drink. Look, it's my buddy Sam. That is so dramatic. Cue dramatic music. Oh my gosh, I think we just had a moment. Also, I just got a little pop-up. That's an order, not a suggestion. Excuse me? Holy. Anyway, I was so rudely interrupted. I have to speak to Sam. So how much of a thrill has it been traveling with the one and only last descendant of the great Solomon Co? It has been amazing. Is it everything you imagined? Oh my gosh, and more. I, I think you're doing your family proud. <laughs> well, that's a first. Aww. I gotta say, it's a relief being with you. So many people hear Co and they expect me to pull some miracle out of a hat. Time has a way of just building on itself. Solomon was a good man. Great one, even. But if he ever heard all the bullshit being talked about him these days, he'd flat out deck him. Hell yeah. It sounds like you aren't happy being related to Solomon. I am. And I'm not. Yeah, there, uh, there was a time, well before Koro, where it really weighed on me. I felt like every little thing I did or didn't do was a reflection on our great legacy. It's enough to drive you crazy. Yeah. Now I just hope I can help Cora to... I don't know. I imagine that's what it's like to be born into a family that has a lot of notoriety, like whether like your parent or grandparent is a celebrity or a really famous like last name or something. I could not even imagine the pressure that would come along with being born into something like that. There is a certain level of beauty in anonymity, if I'm being honest. I feel like people don't really quite understand how important and how good it is to have a certain level of privacy until you don't have it anymore. Every parent wants their child to learn from their mistakes. Well then, Cora's gonna get a five-star university education from me. <laughs> from my father, Cora, and me, everything starts and ends with Solomon Coe. He looked out at the stars, and he dreamed a way to get there. Imagine being the first person to jump into a new system, set foot on a new world. Well, I get it. That's powerful stuff. And now... <laughs> I'm just getting sappy. You're a bad influence, you know that? I love him. 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 Oh, I have my wiles, Mr. Ko. I believe that might be the most honest thing you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope the comic book they make about our adventures is better than that rag on Solomon. The stuff they publish is just downright embarrassing. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I'm blushing. Stop it. Things have gone pretty bad in Ebside lately. It's you know what? I don't love your attitude. Lady, Maybe you're just a Debbie Downer and I'm out of here. Wow, this place is something. Definitely has a different vibe than Ryujin. Um, theirs is definitely like red. This is more green. I like it. Hmm. I used to be an actuary. Now look at me. Really? Whew, as a math major myself, I did look into actuarial sciences. Mm, it was a fat note for me. All right, let's break and enter into this computer. Oh, wait. I think I'm doing this illegally. Hold on, let me back out. Let me just go into stealth mode. So you never know. All right, look at that. First one's kind of easy for me. Boom. Second one. Ooh, this one's set up perfectly. Too easy. Too easy. You've been caught? Shoot, what's the point? What was I supposed to wait until after hours? Upload program. We gotta make this quick. Return to Imogen. Yep, let's get out of here. Let's get, get go, 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 go. Weapon. Oh, no, no, it didn't happen. You're under arrest. Just, no, I'm no not. sudden moves. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, um, uh, 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 don't worry, I'll go quietly. I guess you're smarter than you look. Not smarter, just too cheap to pay that bounty. These I'm are going back. But you're going to need more support I hate mostly back for my paycheck. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? I got arrested. Anything to report? Mm, just got arrested and didn't have to I know pay a bounty. You <laughs> there were some setbacks, right, but it's done. I'll get on it. I heard you made quite the scene in the Trade Tower. Something I explicitly told you we wanted to avoid. What can I say? If I you tried to sneak. Setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews. You get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. Lucky for you, there'll be no docks in pay today. Just Thank try goodness. to be more careful in the future. I will, but I try. I did everything I thought I was supposed to do. I crouched, I went stealth. Everyone knows this lady. Me, everyone watching, everyone knows that I suck at stealth, okay? I get it. Clean work equals maximum payout. Exactly. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, <laughs> let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. We're gonna frame someone? Framing? I don't recall arts and crafts being a part of my job description. That's a good one. <laughs> and I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here. Oh. Just on a much higher level. She's got a sense of humor. One Love of it. our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and we'll be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. Mm. We just need you to visit their office first and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Oh my gosh. This feels so wrong. Also, I noticed that before, too, they gave me a med. I think it was Hippolyta? And then they just gave me something, something X. So I'm wondering if I actually need to take that before doing the mission, maybe that would help. I don't know though, I could be wrong. I'll make sure it gets done. Good, this one should be easy to pull off. Sure. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp. So at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. This feels so wrong. I feel like I should. I am I am deserving of a super cool outfit after all of this. Look, Sam, it's your stomping grounds. Got a freighter coming soon. No exactly where we have to be. Ooh, once again. The Elios retreat? Never really so cool. went down this side of Aquila City too much. This city is really huge. Okay. Rito Firearms. <gasps> what? There was another firearms shop over here? Ooh, I should probably put this away. <laughs> you see, can't be that bad, can't? Oh. So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range again. 
Well, we gotta sneak Hila's past one of them. the oldest it's cities and the settled systems. Cool. Fun facts. Okay, I think we have to go up here to sabotage whatever we need to sabotage. A few beer Whoa. And graffiti is the least oh gosh, don't. Yes, Miss Lance. She, they won't notice, right? They won't notice. I, I could do this in, in private. They don't know I'm here. No, I'm here. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Yeah, you should definitely leave. Yep. No, 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 no. no you don't need something from the, the whatever that is. I don't think we typically allow customers up here. Uh, th right you are, and I am, I am here to keep them out. <laughs> I will have you know. Oh, look over there. What's that? Oh, gosh. Oh, no, no, don't come over here. No, 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 no. All right, maybe, maybe, okay, ooh. Maybe he won't notice if he's not facing me. Let's try it. This is already starting off really good here. All right, there it is. And that's the next one. Um, this one's easy. Got it. See? Didn't even notice. Probably the whole chameleon suit thing. Helping me out a little bit. We gotta break in here again? There it is. Okay. So it's... Could be this one. Definitely not this one. So it's for sure this one. And... Mm -mm, I think it's gonna be this orientation. Yep. Got it. Oh, that's right. We need to place evidence. So hopefully that's just right here. Confidential files. There we go. Oh, this feels so dirty. But at least we didn't get caught and arrested this time. We're moving up in the world. Look at us. I love how in this game, like running a simple errand entails running. <laughs> from one whole planet to another, as if it's literally nothing to these people. <laughs> imagine us being like that one day. I can't even imagine that. All right, it is done. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Uh, I just said it was done. <laughs> she didn't hear me. Everything's set, the deal should be ours. Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Murder? What? I didn't say that. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm ready for whatever's next. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. Persuasion. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Persuasion is my thing, and luckily I have been investing in that skill. Let's get started. Good luck. Oh. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Yeah. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. I'm aware. Yeah. I've had to do that already, even though I still didn't pay a dime. Ooh, sea carts, outfitters. I know I've been here. I know I bought a suit, but I need another one, and I don't know where I put my other one. So let's let's try to see if I can buy another one. Hello, I would love to see your clothes. If you don't see what you need, feel free to ask. Let me see what you have for sale. You won't find a better selection anywhere else. Ooh, it looks like they got some new stuff in this time. <gasps> Oh, I'm picking this up. No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. Okay. I am really liking that. We're going to pick that up too. I wonder if this counts as like a suit Neo City Corp wear or Neon City Business wear, but I prefer the Corp wear. Let's do that. <laughs> Club life skirt. I don't know about you, but I don't, I would not go clubbing in that. I have this already. I have something like this already, but mine's better. I have this already, and I think that's it. So I hope the corp wear works. Don't mind me, just a typical business person. <laughs> I got my eye on you. Okay, well, it's a great start. Something I can do for you. Yes, I need to persuade you to do something. I need you to hand over your security keycard. <laughs> yeah, right. Is this some kind of joke? 
Uh, I'm not laughing. <laughs> Look, I don't have time for details, but it's an emergency. If it's an emergency, it sounds like you need to make time for those details. Persuade, let's talk this over. I'm sure we can come to an understanding. I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. What do we have to play on for this person? Maybe we should start simple. I'll wear you down eventually, save yourself a headache, and just give me what I want now. I'm mm. not really that busy. Work. I think I can wait you out. Okay, so maybe annoying him isn't the play. I've got a narrow window here, okay? Time's a-wasting. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Fine. Easy. This is yours. Just to remember to bring it back, or I am reporting you. <laughs> that was easy. I mean, we failed the first time, but we got it. I genuinely what thought that was going to be way tougher than it was. <laughs> Sweet. Hey there. Got that key card for me? Yes, I do. And wow, do I deserve a raise? Like taking candy from a baby. I think of security the same way too, but don't let Dalton know I said that. <laughs> Overall, not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. Great. I feel bad saying this, but I kind of like her. She, she gets my sense of humor. I'm ready for anything. Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here <gasps> in Neon. I knew we'd go Easy there. Easy to be discreet at the lounge. Everybody's too busy indulging their vices. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. All I need are the deets. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. Ooh, okay, how do we do that? Consider it done. That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. Ooh, a dossier? I feel so important. I'll memorize every line. Can you guys tell I really want to raise? Just as long as you don't sound like you're reading out of a book. Oh, true. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Hmm, okay. Sounds like that meeting is going to be chaos. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Okay. Finally. I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? Okay. You're, you're gonna tell me right now that you have a suit for me, and I just spent all this gosh darn money buying new clothes i mean i would like to pretend that i'm mad about it but like let's be honest i love clothes i'm really not mad about it and i still get a new outfit got it i'm ready i bet you are <laughs> just remember to keep a low profile <sighs> don't let the astor lounge distract you too much low profile my sweet summer child you're gonna learn today so let's read the dossiers first shall we notable relationships none self-made man wait this is for arthur cruz personality charismatic and friendly enjoys talking to people stickler for facts and details good to know driven by credits and how to increase his accounts financial security is everything talking points infinity profits are fabricated one audit would ruin them Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher and produce a higher quality product. Infinity's marketing and legal teams can't compare to Ryujin's. Ryujin Industries provides financial security. Oh, so I just realized reading these dossiers are probably going to give me pointers. So if certain dialogue options come up in talking, 
there's probably certain things that I can select that are on this list that'll really help me. All right, let's go to the next one. Zola Adisa. Notable relationships. Dahlia Adisa, mother, retired CFO, Inception Technologies. Imani Adisa, sister, public relations, Centauri Mills. Personality, narcissist, obsessed with public perception, appreciation for professionalism and manner and appearances drawn toward innovation, enjoys being part of something new, quality is key, strong dislike to be associated with anything less. Talking points, Infinity LTD is the cheap version of Ryujin Industries. Infinity is a follower, not a leader when it comes to innovation. Infinity lacks clear vision with constant reorganization. Praise quantum synergies if the opportunity is presented. Oh, Okay, and I think we should put this outfit on as well, looking sharp. All right, now I'm ready to talk business. Where is this first person? So we got the VIP elevator. Welcome or... to Astro Lounge. Oh, they're just right over here. Excuse y'all. Excuse me. Jeez. All right, let's do this first, and then we'll save the VIP lounge for later. Zola. Someone came dressed to impress. Uh, I knew you'd notice. Business or just out to escape? Yes, yes. Work it. Thank you for noticing. A little bit of both. Ah, same here. Nothing like a business trip paid in full, especially when there is good downtime. You must have business with Ryujin. Ryujin Industries. A good guess since we are here in Neon, but no. Infinity LTD. Oh, wow. I had no idea. None. None whatsoever. I know absolutely nothing about you. A deal with Infinity LTD. That sounds risky. Let's risky, persuade. You say. By all means, enlighten me. Okay, let's see if I can remember what I learned in the dossier. Infinity LTD is just the cheap version of Region Industries. Cheap is a word quantum synergy should never be associated with. <laughs> I believed our team had thoroughly researched Infinity. But your comment gives Ooh. me pause. Ooh, hook, line, and sinker. We got him. I've heard they're run by a bunch of idiots. Such Shit. a simple and easy insult. Okay. I would hate to think this is personal. Oh, no, 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 not at all, not at all. We already know we are the stronger brand, and they would rely on our name to increase their sales. You must have misheard me. What I meant to say was... Infinity is a follower, not a leader, when it comes to innovation. I admit, I am aware of this trend. We are willing to collaborate in hopes of helping Infinity make the leap beyond Ryujin, but there are no guarantees. <laughs> a surprising conversation, and one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. You don't even know I me. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So, it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. You're very welcome. All right. On to part two. Ooh, look at the VIP lounge. Ho, ho, ho. Nice and intimate. Love this already. Hello, Arthur. All these years, and Bayou hasn't let this place slip a single notch. The man knows how to run a business. You look like quite the businessman yourself. Well, I take that as a compliment. Coming from someone as well-dressed as yourself, <laughs> you either got great taste or great connections. Maybe even both. Tell Definitely me, both. You don't happen to work for Infinity LTD, do you? That is for me to know and for you to never find out. Eh, no, I'd hate for anyone to think so. Got something against Infinity, I take it. I'd love to hear your reasons oh, why. Oh, let me tell you. Infinity's profits are fabricated. One audit would ruin them. That's an awfully big claim to make. <laughs> You'd have to have some inside details on their operation. Yes. However, it does match some of my own research that I've been conducting into their finances. So you understand, and I have heard that you are a man who understands money. To compare, Ryujin's profits are 25.7% higher, quality included. Aren't you the resourceful one? That number tracks with the insider details I've been getting. Hmm, interesting. It is interesting, Look, isn't it? It was nice meeting you. 
and I quite enjoyed our little talk. Oh, me too. But it sounds Pleasure. like I need to take another look at some data before I head into this presentation of theirs. See you around, and maybe next time I'll be doing business with you. Hmm. We got him. Wait a second. So, says that there's something in here. But this is locked behind a lockpick. Well, I have something for that, but what? what is in here? Looks like these, these can be used for all layers. Wonderful. Oh, it's literally the same on both layers, just different orientation. This should definitely be easy. We're just going to have a bunch of duplicates. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. This one's perfect. And we got it. Hope you find something good. Me too. Okay. Yep, so definitely something in here that we needed. Swap Nina's presentation. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, let's go. And this, my friends, is exactly why I always invest in persuasion, barter, charisma, all of that. It is so much fun to talk yourself in and out of situations and just manipulate characters. This is this is my favorite part. Beginning we are done. Well, that wasn't too bad. Was it? Not at all. It was actually really, really fun being able to read the dossiers to do a little bit of research and then actually apply the stuff that I learned about each character. Piece of cake. You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high-profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. Let's we go. made it look easy. That's because of the skills. Persuasion skills. Persuasion for the win. Thank you for the bonus. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good and there'll be more where that came from. Oh. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Holy smokes, I just got 10,000 credits for that. And I think that is the perfect place to go out on a high note with that huge bonus. Also, speaking of bonuses, here's Toby. I can't believe he's been on my lap for like the past hour. Normally he does not like to be around when I'm talking to NPCs all the time. Anyway, this was a blast of an episode. We jumped back in, we did another main quest. We finally got to meet Sam. And as of right now, mostly because I don't know where the heck Andresia went. She just disappeared on me, but maybe it was meant to be. Maybe, just maybe there was a reason for that. I was meant to meet Sam because right now, he is speaking my language. I truly feel like he is a giant softy on the inside. And I loved all the things that he had to say about like traveling the universe, discovering planets for the first time, and like the wonder and awe of space. And I think Toby agrees too. Look at that face. That is a face of pure love. And I didn't expect to just jump right into the Ryujin Industries quest line, but honestly, I'm really glad I did. I'm very glad that I took a chance on that because so far it's been really fun. It's been really interesting. And I have had to use a lot of problem solving skills on top of my persuasion skills. You know, I have been investing in that skill tree for some time now. So it's actually nice to be able to use the skills that I have been investing so much in. And it is one of my favorite favorite things to do in the Bethesda game, like I've said many times, there's just something about the art of talking, especially in video games, that I just find so fun. Anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. Going forward, we might continue with the Ryujin Industries questline. I really don't know how much more work they have for me to do. I assume it's going to be like a normal faction questline where there's a clear start, but definitely a finish with a huge reward at the end. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button to get notified for the next one. Toby says bye too. I want to hop off for a little bit, take a little bit of a break from gaming, and go spend some time with my boy. Yes. Alrighty guys, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.